Morning everyone, it's currently 7.45 and I'm leaving Sydney International Airport. I was doing um, airport transfers today, this morning. So in fact, I just dropped the client off at the International. Uh, so that was my second booking of the day, which was uh, booked for 7 o'clock. It took me half an hour to get the people to the airport. My first booking was half past 4 in the morning. In order to uh, be on site half past 4 in the morning, uh, you have to be awake at least one hour before the actual booking time. Say so this morning I was awake at 3.30. I slept only, I would say, 4-5 hours, which is quite not enough for a full day shift. And this is another day in my chauffeur life. My name is Ratko, a Sydney-based chauffeur, aka Ray. On this channel, I share my passion by giving you a glimpse into my chauffeur life. The busiest place on the face of the earth, Sydney Airport area. Well, this is how the traffic looks like 7.45 in the morning, absolutely shocking. So this is a good time to get a coffee. First booking in the morning, like I said, was half past four. Uh, okay, you have to get up and be on site that early, but the good thing is there's no traffic. That's why I liked the early pickups. Not a good start of the day. That feels so good. Don't get up half past three in the morning because you will need three coffees too. It's currently 8.15. Um, this is my, my second coffee. I'll see how I feel. Uh, I'll reassess after a couple of hours. But the rule of the time that I try to stick to is not to have um, more, than, more than three coffees. And the third coffee I only buy only if I have to, which means only if I if I feel drowsy or if I feel uh, a little bit sleepy, usually the second coffee should be enough. In Sydney, in fact, in petrol stations they 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 sell a very very decent coffee. Only dollar fifty cents used to be a dollar, and it's so so convenient. You stop at the petrol station, get some fuel, and for dollar fifty you have a coffee, which is great. o'clock in 20 minutes in the morning so I would say if you're not a professional driver this is uh, probably the worst time to be behind the wheel um, in, uh, in a place like this And this was my my third transfer for the day. I I had a group of elders that I've taken to the art gallery near the, the main park, which is a lovely and beautiful place. Um, they were coming from an aged care center for a daily excursion, so they went out to enjoy this beautiful and nice and sunny day. Uh, it 
it's a small tiny peninsula beautiful place uh, lots of greenery uh, very central uh, the Sydney CBD is on the other side and on my left hand side that's uh, that's the Navy base and we use it us the limo drivers the chauffeurs we use it to um, to chill sometimes maybe to fill that gap between the jobs It's uh, 12 o'clock at the moment, so midday. I have done my three bookings for today. It's quite substantial, so three bookings as a chauffeur. If I'm working um, on it in the morning, so three bookings is quite good, or always can be better, but three is enough. So you can do three in the morning and also another three in the afternoon. That midday section is pretty quiet. Uh, most of the time uh, around 12 o'clock, one, two, it's very quiet for the chauffeurs, for the limo drivers. Most likely you will be dividing your shift morning and afternoon. There will be a gap between the morning and afternoon shift. I'm using that gap uh, to refill some fuel, maybe have some breakfast, lunch, or even go to the car wash. I hope you like this daily vlog and, and until the next time, stay safe and thanks for watching.